baby, and welcome back to Womina's channel. I'm Elisa Freja, founder of Womina, and a feminist who's kind of obsessed with finding all the hidden patriarchal, misogynistic issues in the day-to-day -day life. So this week, we enter the metaverse. That's right, we go deep into the universe that is meta. We go into the future in your phone, in the screen, we get real with it, and we wonder what the hell can we do to make sure that the patriarchy does not continue on into the metaverse? So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around for this week's episode of... Tabahu! <laughs> invited to enter the metaverse good morning friend who's ready to get a little meta with us join us in the metaverse so i guess this is like an indication of what metaverse parties are gonna look like <laughs> like we're about to enter some crazy cool space of like the dominion of angels and unicorns and dragons and we're gonna play games and it's all about the future but really i'm just like exhausted in a bathrobe like a total loser on my computer and so is everybody else that's going to be at this event the incredibly futuristic people at mo4 and startup scene invited me to be a part of a games night in the metaverse. I have never been in the metaverse before, so I'm pretty excited to see what it's all about. The party itself is happening in web, in web three, in the metaverse. And so it doesn't really matter where I am, but I'm in Cairo in a hotel room and I've invited a friend to come to the party with me. I'm just gonna sip my coffee and have some Kunefa. Yes. I'm not worry about the metaverse or where it is. Because I thought we were going somewhere, but we're not. We're, we're going just, somewhere. We're not going anywhere. We're in our room. But which is we're just chilling. Meet Amira. I'm an entrepreneur. And an angel. And a unicorn. And a unicorn. Thank you. Three in one. Yeah, I'm low-key going to bring Amira into the metaverse event <laughs> without them knowing and this is why the metaverse is silly because the avatar is only one person but we're actually going to be two we're catfishing we're avatar catfishing cat vataring cataversing <laughs> okay let's actually get started here i have to enter the metaverse how does one do such a thing I thought like it was like a website that you go yeah. and like you like log in basically. Right. But that's like old internet. It is old internet because now I get a direct link that they send to me. Oh, I've clicked on the link. So I'm going in this world. The whole metaverse is not in 8-bit, but this specific verse within the metaverse is an 8-bit universe. It's a bit scary. The metaverse is pixelated. Yeah, I'm not into this. So it's telling me I have been assigned the role of dragon, which means I need to dress my avatar head to toe in green. First of all, don't tell me what to do. Second of all, I love green. So you're lucky because I'm going to do it, but only because it's my favorite color. This is the best part. Okay. I want my pink hair, obvi. Clothing in green. Sick. <laughs> Accessories is my jam is that the head of a pumpkin maybe i'm a witchy witch maybe i'm a bridgerton or i'm a university graduate hey well eye patch done looking like the joker i gave myself an arm that's a saw oh shit i have to go to the metaverse now okay name your character freha ha ha freha why do is there still my human form though is what i don't understand yeah this is confusing what <laughs> if the camera is on yeah can they see that you're also crashing the party uh, yeah i think they also just heard you no because <laughs> it just signed in. oh yeah people heard me this is like the weirdest zoom meeting i've ever been on yeah. what is happening guys do you see anything are they somewhere <laughs> that i'm not right now what is happening i'm not very it's like what <laughs> do you understand what's going on right now I don't understand what's happening right now. Where did everybody go? It was like a little chessboard type thing. Ah, we're in the world. Got it. Guys, I figured it out. I'm at the party. 
I'm here. Finally, I made it. Look at, do you see Elisa's hair? Elisa! It's kind of cool because it simulates real life physics in the sense that I can only hear what's happening if I get close enough to the person talking. So if I'm on the other side of the room, like at any other party, I can't really hear what's being said. When you walk off far away from people, you won't be able to communicate with them anymore. When you come close to them, you can hear them and see them. It's the only part of real life that like shows up in your metaphor. So it's similar to if you're yelling in public. See, it says you are here. Scroll down. It's like at the mall. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, we wanted to kind of just bring everyone here tonight so That's we can me. show you around the wonderful world of that the metaphors and make sure everyone is meta curious so so make sure that you move with your little arrows to like find my name what i'm doing i'm moving right Weird. yes elisa you're moving uh and before we get started if everyone can just mute uh so then there aren't like loud static alien voices that would be awesome this is us <laughs> so if everyone can grab a seat. So everyone sit at your own desk, just like in school. Because we're learning stuff. You should just be like floating. Yeah, so you, 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 you should, should take a seat. seat. I'm supposed to be sitting down, okay? They're just telling me to sit down like I got a, a problem. But my avatar doesn't have a sit button. It just moves on squares. And apparently I chose the wrong square. She wants to fly. What just happened to you? How am I supposed to know which one of the squares with a question mark is a chair and which is a go-kart and which is a table they all look the same it's so difficult i'm so over the metaverse i don't like school i never like sitting at a desk and i don't understand why they're taking me back to this dramatic place right now they set up a series of games it said i scored zero points on this i didn't hit submit oh man i'm having so much fun just watching elisa like make Manic movements with no sound. Yeah, okay. I just refreshed the page and I understand that I'm actually in a classroom. There are chairs and tables that we're supposed to sit on that I was not seeing before. It's a racetrack. And, and guys, and I just yeah, overcame my go karting fear. See, Elisa, you just got kicked off of your go kart. No, I'm on my go kart, dude. What do you mean? Am I not? Why does she. <laughs> so that's set. Uh, race! Go! Oh, you're supposed to. What the f? Did I leave my goat? You're not on a cart. What am I on? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question in general. What are you on? Just so he can win. All right, you got it. Go, go, go. <laughs> way back. I'm way back. Oh, go, go, Lisa, don't stop. Keep going. Someone could like, die. You know what, guys? At least I didn't break an arm. That's true. Real life traumas. Don't go into the metaverse. Real life traumas. Don't go in the metaverse. And the winner is someone who is known for his ability to explore new worlds. It is... Amar Samra! You've won an all expenses paid long weekend in the very luxury exotic escape that is the Al Tarfa Desert Oasis Lodge no in Etla. Wow. It is absolutely magical. And if you want a full weekend there, you can take it at any time you want in the next year. And that is the type of prizes we're giving away today, and we've just gotten started. So that was our experience in Metaverse. Oh my god, it's so tired. It's just tired and tired. It, I'm out. I'm not. And it lasted as long as a normal event. It was like two hours. Yeah, that was a hour, two hour, three hour experience. It's 10 p.m. We started at seven? Eight. Eight. Oh, it yeah. felt like three hours. <laughs> that's, a, that's a wrap. <laughs> but I appreciated it. It was fun. It was, it was fun to try something new. Am I dying to go back? Not necessarily, no, but hopefully I can learn more about it. Uh, it was a total mess, but a really fun mess. And a mess I got to make with a bunch of friends, and I couldn't be more grateful for that. Now, ever since the metaverse has been announced and people have been talking about what it means for the future of our society, I've actually been thinking about what elements from the past are going to be carried over into the metaverse. For example, if you can choose any avatar and you can look any way that you want, does that mean that our current real life societal structures and hierarchy of power will translate into the metaverse? So if you want to be more advantaged with more opportunities, 
Do you want to create an avatar that looks like a white Western male? And by that default, if you choose an avatar that's a female, will she then be subjected to higher percentages of sexual harassment online? Is she going to be disadvantaged in certain spaces and in certain experiences? What about people who choose different colored skin tones, whether that's skin tones that reflect the diversity we have in the real world, or if they go fully like purple and green and psychedelic trippiness, is that going to affect the respect that they get in the metaverse and especially in the spaces that are going to mimic the real life spaces? So far, data has shown that absolutely the metaverse is a very dangerous place for female characters. Recently, there was even a story of a woman who went into the metaverse and within the first minute was attacked by sexual harassment and lewd comments from other people there. What the hell does that mean? Is this a space that we then have to push ourselves in because in the architectural development of this space, there needs to be people with our perspectives, with our viewpoints, in order to save this space from becoming completely westernized and dominated by the white male coder archetype, it needs to have movers and shakers like us that are different and diverse in their backgrounds, their experiences, their genders, their sexualities, their, their, their physical appearance, in order to make sure that the space currently being built is fair and just for us all. It's a really unique opportunity if this is something that really does take off for it to act as a utopian alternative, albeit in a digital space, that we could potentially use to show that these people need representation or that these thoughts and feelings that can't be said in the real world are things that are felt and said online. So that's gonna be your question of the week. We're gonna get meta with it. What are the questions that you still have about the metaverse? Let me know in the comments down below because this has just created an explosion of curiosity and questions in my mind. I hope your brain's not melting with all these questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow at me or Wamina and I will see you in the metaverse. Yo, I was in the metaverse and that was more exhausting and draining of a social experience than an actual party was. <laughs>